How's it going everyone? Equinox Phoenix here and today we're going to talk about Doom Patrol Season 3 Episode 7 titled Bird Patrol. Uh, this episode is... Um, okay, first things first, apologies that this video is a day late. Um, also, new day for it to go up will be Saturday since Titans is now over. Uh, at least Season 3 is over. Anyway. With that out of the way, this episode, um, it's a bit of a weird one. Like, really weird. Uh, honestly, uh, I don't know how I would describe it. Uh, besides, uh, yeah, weird is the only uh, description for it. Right, like, okay, I should probably, like, actually do it. Okay, so, this will be a bit out of order. I have to restart my computer and, um, sorry, OBS is being weird. Uh, anyway, uh, how do I put this? I'm going to cover it in sections, uh, right? Uh, so we have, we have Cliff telling, uh, Jane that he fucked up royally, right? He did sell a bunch of his friend's stuff. And, um, unfortunately, he didn't just sell Jane's stuff. He sent one of the al altars, um, stuff as well. Uh, some, I, I, I forgot what it was. It was the teleporters thing. And so, um, as like a punishment, she teleported him to his daughter's house <laughs> where, um, okay. So his daughter's wife, uh, really does not like Jane, uh, not Jane, uh, does not like Cliff for whatever reason. Uh, why is it Jane? Uh, for whatever reason, I, I, I really don't get it. Um, but anyway, he uh shows that his hand is uh steady as a rock is is the is the term he used uh, when he held up his hand. Um, and uh, yeah, it was um, it was interesting. Now um. He goes off and tells them, "Oh yeah, just go out, uh, fun. Don't worry, I got, I got the, I got the baby. You know, I'll take care of it." And um, he did. He does not got this. He does not got this. Uh, they come back to um, him have, uh, having the burner on the stove on high. Uh, now his daughter in law is like freaking out about him burning the house down. Which no, if you put the 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 stove on high, it's not gonna burn the house down. I would know. I used to do it as a kid. Now, obviously, you're not supposed to put it on high uh, all the time. Stuff like that. Like, for, like, frying food, you're not supposed to put it on low so that the heat seeps in, etc., etc. But, like, whatever. It's not going to burn the house down. She very clearly does not like Cliff for whatever reason. Now, uh, a fog rolls in. Um, and, uh... Claire tells him, "Don't, don't, don't disappear now. You just got here, right? Because Claire, Claire actually likes her dad. You know, um, you know, she she wants her dad to be part of her life, which you know is is a good thing. Uh, this this video is gonna be really long. Apologies. Anyway, um, now uh, let's move on to Jane. Uh, Kay um had her bike stolen by uh one of the altars." And she tells Jane this, and um, unfortunately, Jane flips out. Now, as we know, the altars have gone off the deep end, except for Jane. I don't understand why or how, but they've decided, 
fuck the girl. Uh, we're gonna do what we want, not what she wants. Even though it's a, it's it's her body, it's Kay's body. It's Kay's like the whole point of them existing is is to, you know, make Kay happy and whatnot. And they're monumentally failing at that. Um. Uh, a f um now uh go now Jay goes homicidal when she finds out that they stole her bike, and. That's when she finds out that the altars have gone off the deep end. Uh, they've broken like the rules, in in a sense, uh, because the therapist lady again. I I swear, uh, if they don't, if they don't yeet these altars this season, I'm not a big fan of death for character development. But these altars need to die. They need to all be deleted and absorbed into Jane, right? Like the powers and whatnot. And then Jane needs to just be the primary, like, the only altar, like, and that's it. Because otherwise, like, thing. Anyway, uh, so Kay's now depressed. Her bike was stolen. She doesn't want to go back up, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Fog rolls in and kidnaps Jane. Um, Victor goes to get synthetic skin done. Mid operation, uh, as he's going under, he gets kidnapped by the fog. Larry goes to drop off the parasite that he throws up at the beginning of the episode, uh, into the woods. Gets kidnapped by the f well, no, hold up. He ends up doing it. Goes back. Uh, Laura is trying to seal up the mansion, and they both get kidnapped by the fog. Rita, in the past, is has now become one with the sister of Dada. And Laura in the past betrays the sisterhood, and we now know why the sisterhood of Dada wants Laura's head. She betrayed them, and uh, as a result, they are um, not the best of birds when it comes to Laura. Now, with the fog rolling in, um, with the Doom Patrol being kidnapped. <sighs> We also find out in the past that because of Laura's actions, Malcolm is dead or died. Something I don't know. Now they uh draw drop off. Now the sister of Dada drops off. They break. They you know they they have kidnapped the uh, Doom Patrol. Sorry, I I'm just it it's like my brain's just not functioning today. <laughs> Apologies. Um, with the sisterhood and the Doom Patrol in the same place, you saw, see this giant egg. Now the egg hatches to a bird thing, uh, with Malcolm's face, and Rita or Bindi, uh, says, "You remember?" Tells Laura, "You remember a thing?" And um, the. Eternal flagellation thing. Uh, it, it turns out it's uh, Malcolm becoming a million birds or something. <laughs> anyway, um, they release Malcolm. He he like splits into bil into a million birds, and Laura escapes. She transforms into a bird and escapes. <sighs> it, one piece of Malcolm per Doom Patrol member that is left. Boom! 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 And the Doom Patrol is now missing, and the Sisterhood escapes. Um, that is the episode. Um, like I said, it's weird. Uh, so Rita, it, there was two Ritas at one point, up until she went into the past. Uh, now there's one Rita or Bindi, as she has got, chosen to go by now. I I don't get it, like. I really don't. Like, I'm not a big fan of Laura DeMille in the 1920s or whatever, uh, having betrayed uh, the sisterhood. But at the same time, it's been a hundred years. I don't think you should be holding on to grudges that long. Like, at that point, just move on. Especially considering you've escaped. You're no longer with the Bureau of Normalcy in the, as a slave or whatever, you know. They're like they're, they're they were essentially slaves, yeah. Um, 
to the Bureau of Normalcy. Uh, they were used as weapons. Um, uh, like, yeah, it was mentally scarring as fuck, but... Um, uh, how do I put this? I don't think Laura had a choice. Like, I get the feeling... Now, I may be wrong on this, but I get the feeling that Laura was threatened. And that is why she did what she did. Now, of course, uh, I don't know this for sure. Laura's just evil. Uh, she is Madame Rouge in the comics, so it is very well possible that she's just evil. With that, I, I really don't think they should have held a grudge that long. That A hundred years of grudge, that, that's some straight up, like, uh, Ashura and Indra from Naruto levels of, <laughs> of like, what the fuck. <laughs> right? Like, th those two, like, f duked it out for a thousand years. Repeatedly. Like, they transmigrated and duked it out. Repeatedly. All because of Black Zetsu. Now, we just went full-on weave anime into this, but, like... I am so glad that Shippuden, at the very least, ended with Naruto and Sasuke not murderizing each other. Now, um... That's, th that's, that's the only thing I can, I can think of, because... Indra felt betrayed, but wasn't. Really? He felt betrayed by his father, took it out on his brother, that was... That was some craziness. Uh, I f I, I'm feeling like some, there's some shenanigans going on. Obviously, in, in Naruto's ca in the case of the Naruto characters, Black Zetsu was whispering in the ear uh, to manipulate events. Uh, in this, I'm having a feeling that the whispering in the ear is the higher-ups in the Bureau of Normalcy. They probably threatened Laura. Now, we'll find out in the later episodes. There's probably like six more episodes of the season, so we still got time. Um, but like... <sighs> There has to be more to it. I, I, it was stated by Rita and Malcolm that some that she's been acting weird the last fifteen years. So I'm pretty sure there's something up. Now, this video has gone on way too long. I have said some things that make no sense, and it's just purely speculation. So with that, tell me what you guys thought of the episode down in the comment section down below. That's going to be it for this video. If you guys haven't already, hit like, hit subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys next time, and as always, stay bright.